it's a good win for our team. Um, anytime you travel on the road, especially if, if you don't play as well as you wanted to the week before. Um, so I was really proud of our team. There's a lot of ups and downs in this game. It's always that way when we play Tech. I don't, I don't know why. But uh, what I thought going into the game um, held to be true, they're, they're playing better on defense. Um, obviously, we had a, a big day on offense, but we, we weren't able to get as many um, big plays uh, and create as many big plays through missed tackles against them. And defensively, we played terrific. Um, they hit us on a few drives in the end of the third quarter and in the, in the fourth quarter, and then we made a couple adjustments and, and got, got a couple key stops. So um, we, we have to improve in the kicking game. We, we need to be able to uh, to locate our kickoffs better. We had too many kickoffs that land in the middle of the field at the 9, 10, 11, 12 yard line. So we really need to improve on where we're kicking the ball and how we're doing it so we don't stress our coverage units. Um, you know, Dola had a tough day on PAT field goals, but he'll be fine. Um, sometimes that happens. And we got confidence in him. We'll put him back out there and kick another one. Overall, I thought we tackled better. We still missed three or four tackles. The Tech has really good skill guys. Sometimes you're going to miss some tackles. We would prefer to that, for that to be less than three. Uh, in the first half, I thought we were really good tackling. The latter part of the third quarter, we got our head down a couple times. Uh, I thought the coaches, the assistant coaches, did a really good job. The, the game plans were really sound. Offensively, uh, in the first half, you know, it was just a matter of not shooting ourselves in the foot. Mason let one go there, overthrew the guy. The depth and the width of that route, anytime you overthrow a guy, you're going to hit a corner right in the chest. You can just bank on it, and that's what happened. Um, but then he rallied back and played terrific. Made key throws. Wideouts continue to make great catches in crucial situations like um, James did on the third long, and then Aitman did on the third long in the last drive. So um, I'm just re really proud of our guys. Um, I thought I thought our backs ran hard. Um, the open week comes at a good time for us. We, we've got some guys that are beat up a little bit, need a little bit of a break. See if we can get some guys back and let our guys get off our feet for a little while. Coach, uh, Justice Hill was only averaging about two yards a carry through the first quarter and a half. How essential was it to make sure that you guys continued with him? Because it seemed to that's what kind of led to that, that touchdown at the end was they were more focused on, on Justice than they were on Mason. Yeah, they started traveling from behind, running us down from behind. And that happens to our offense because we, you know, we don't have a running quarterback. And uh, so the coaches make that adjustment. And then Mason was willing to run the ball effectively. And, and, uh, and really, as a, at the end of the game, is what changed the game. Um, nobody to block the last man on the line. So uh, he did a good job making the adjustment. I thought Justice ran really hard. In a lot of carries now, 30 carries. You know, Mason had 11 carries for 55 yards. So um, good day for him, good day for all of us. Um, I thought 72 did a nice job of filling in for uh, Lundblade. Had to bump him down and then put 73 at guard, which he's never practiced guard. Um, so overall, they held up pretty good and kind of patching the old line together to keep it going. Uh, Coach, you mentioned that you guys were kind of shooting yourselves in the foot. What does the team need to do mentally to, to fix those errors? Mm, really in the kicking game. Um, you know, with Mason overthrowing the the ball down there. We're going to score going in, and said you give them a score. Um, other than that, I don't think they'd really slowed us down. And then by not converting field goals, chip shots, and things like that, it's kind of shooting yourself in the foot and just not capitalizing on making the game the game more than a two-score game. You know, and we had a chance to extend it out and really strain them, and we didn't do it. Yeah, we you know we ended up in a fourth and one and a fourth and two, and um, 
it just kind of fell that way. Um, I, you know, I, I don't really think it was anything other than um, we just ended up a little short. I probably should have gone for it uh, the last time on fourth and one when we kicked the field goal. But uh, we just need to do a better job finishing drives. The one time they stopped us coming in down this way, I thought James could have made the catch in the end zone. We didn't. So, um, you know, sometimes that happens. Uh, they rallied up a couple times. <clears throat> they dropped out and played a pure zone defense down there on a – at a time they would mainly be in some sort of a man, kind of tricked us. So uh, – but we do need to improve in that, that's for sure. Coach, speaking of James Washington, how important was it for you guys to get him the ball in the fourth quarter after not really touching it in the latter half of the second and the third quarter? Uh, well, just based on the way they play, you know. And then one time when he caught the ball, they had a man on him and a man chasing him. Made an unbelievable catch. Um, they, they, they used a lot of trap coverage on him. So Mason's got to go to other guys. That's just part of it, the way it is. You spoke of the defense. Uh, they only scored two touchdowns in their final nine drives in the game. I mean, how, how important of, of a turnaround is that for your defense after last week when they right. couldn't get off the field? I, I thought our, our defense played uh, really well. Uh, you know, you take away the, the pick six, so you keep them. You're holding them at 26 points or 25, whatever it is, out here. Pretty good. Um, we've got room for improvement. But what we did is they were 5 of 12 on third downs. So for us, that's a significant improvement. Okay? And um, so that, that's a nice job. 0 for 1 on fourth and 5 of 12 on third downs. And uh, that, that's a big jump for us. Mark you, you didn't want it to be this bad, but how gratifying is it for you guys to be put in a tense situation at the end, have to come through, and they did? Right. It is. And, and you know, I was talking to Cliff before the game, and this league, there's going to be a lot of exciting games with the way everything is. And, you know, we got to have some resiliency. Chad Whitener was terrific as a leader. Magruder was terrific as a leader. Mason, obviously. Um, and, and that's what you have to have. When you get in those games, you've got to have guys that can, can settle down and make a play in front of, you know, on the road. And uh, that's, that's the value of having veteran players that have, have won a lot and been on the road and get it. Because when you're a young team, guys get big eyes and don't react very well. I guess you might in the second half, they were finding lots of holes in the middle of the secondary. But there at the end, you did a lot of studying and blitzing, you know, the very last drives. And it was pretty gusty. I mean, what was going through your head at that time? Well, I thought that Cliff had got a beat on us. And, and you know, good offensive coaches, they're going to do that. So the longer the game goes on, they're going to start to get a feel for it because essentially defenses run out of stuff. There's so many plays in a game. You know, there's – we had 82, they had 72. So they, you just kind of run out of stuff, and coaches can make really good adjustments, the same thing we do. And then we made a couple other adjustments on defense. And there's some risk. Um, you know, when you're in attack mode and you're seeing a man and up freshman corners, you're in a little bit of a risk. It's, but we felt like we had to do something because they got on a roll there pretty good. We need to change it up. Coach, earlier this week you talked about how No, no question. I mean, we all know uh, momentum and the mental, your mental state's huge in football. And um, we, we didn't play very good last week. We were negative four in the turnover margin. We were terrible on special teams. So, you know, you, you got to come back and find a way to play well and try to get momentum back. Now, if you don't and you lose, you got to rally and you got to get over it. But it sure helps attitudes in the open week when you when you win a game like this. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we, we had the best team. They're a better team than they have been. Um, they don't miss near the tackles that they used to. They don't give up as many big plays. We should have won the game, but, you know, when you play on the road and make a few mistakes in a kicking game, you're, you, you become vulnerable. Marcel, jump ball, biggest play of the game, seemed to me. It was. Like the chances when uh, – 
all year. Yeah. It, that was the biggest play because we were on what the, the 40 going that way. 26. Is that what it was? That makes me even more nervous. <laughs> he got he landed on the 40. Yeah, and, and if you punt there, momentum's not very good because they had we hadn't really done much. And uh, Mason does a nice job, and 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 three's had a, having a great year for us. He does everything we ask him to do. He went up and rebounded the ball, and that guy got his hand in there at the last second. And I thought he was going to lay down; he's going to flip it out, but he you know he gripped it. It was obviously the, out of out of all the stuff that happened in that game, it was the biggest play, no question.